Hi, I'm Yaakov Prupis from Prupis Plumbing. I know you guys always want to know how to connect polypropylene piping. Now's your chance. The piping we use is Aquatherm. It's a German company. They make great products. Fully old company imports it from Germany. Number one is you want to get the proper insertion depth. Insert it too much, you're going to close the opening, restrict the flow. Bad news. So we have um, that gadget over there. At the 20, we go by millimeters over here, so 20 millimeters. We'll make our mark in maybe two different places on the end of the pipe. That way I know when I start melting it, I don't go too far. Make sure that your uh, heating plate is, uh, is hot enough. Okay, got the green and the red buttons there. Um, you have a chart, it tells you the heating time. Uh, for 20 millimeter piping, it's gonna be 11 seconds. 11 seconds, once you get it all the way in. Okay, then you start the 11 seconds. Take it apart, you got four seconds to take it apart, put it back together. All right, we're gonna insert the piping. Get it in, uh, there we go, at the right depth, not gonna push anymore, just hold it steady. 11 seconds, count with me. Three Mississippi, four Mississippi, five Mississippi, six Mississippi, seven Mississippi, eight Mississippi. Who's Mississippi? 10 Mississippi. Let, okay, then you got four seconds, take it apart, put it together, make sure it's straight, okay? Gotta work quick on this stuff. Hold it there for about 10 seconds, make sure it doesn't move, doesn't pop out. And you have, according to the chart here, two minutes of cooling time. Okay, make sure you get the cooling time. Uh, you don't, you don't want to rapid cool it. Make sure it's two minutes of cooling time. This becomes one pipe, okay? This is not considered a connection on here, even though you see a connection. But inside, it melted, it fused together, and it's considered one continuous section of pipe.